What's up sellers and welcome to today's video. It is sourcing day for week number three of the 15 by 15 challenge. So let's get into it. All right, welcome back. Like I said, today is sourcing day for week three of the 15 by 15 reselling challenge. We're gonna get out into the thrift stores. I have one particular thrift store that I'm planning on hitting. I might hit another, depending on what we find at the first store. Our budget today is $160. Nice. We're gonna go, we're gonna spend every dime of it. The whole idea is to buy inventory that we can flip within one week for one and a half times the amount that we paid for it after all fees, shipping, and costs associated with it. And then next week we'll do the same thing. We'll take all of that money, keep zero profits, and we will reinvest all of that money to help grow inventory, to help grow our capital account. With that being said, let's get to the thrift store. All right, guys, so here we are in, uh, in Goodwill. This was the first stop that I made out of two stops. I got there about an hour and a half after they had initially opened and thankfully the shoes were still there. Normally by this time the shoe people have rolled through and picked up stuff so maybe I missed the first load of shoes that they brought out, I don't know. But this silver rack was absolutely slammed with really great shoes. It also had a lot of boots, uh, stuff that I'm not familiar with or that had uh, you know didn't have a name attached to them they were not a name brand so i stuck with what i know and i think there's a lesson there to be learned you know stick with what you know uh it's okay to experiment from time to time and expand your uh, to broaden and expand your horizon as a seller but ultimately you need to stick with what you know um, in here some really great stuff I did see those toddler Nikes right there. However, I'm not really interested in selling those. I'm sure I could have made a couple bucks off of them, but I didn't want to bother. Uh, I, I did go over to this other shoe shelving area, and this is where all of those silver bins go after uh, they've been gone through by people like me. So none of these shoes, like all of these shoes have problems is basically the best way of putting it. They all have issues going on in there. All right, guys, we're back from the thrift store. I actually hit two thrift stores. I hit my main Goodwill and uh, definitely scored some fire there. I'd only spent $80, exactly $80 at the first thrift store. Because of that, I decided to hit another thrift store a couple of miles away and ended up getting some awesome stuff there too. Got some higher dollar sneakers that I will probably sell for a tiny bit more than one and a half times the amount that I paid simply because they are worth so much. But like I said, the goal is to sell these things within one week. So let's make that happen. Let's get that 1.5X of the amount that we spent on the item. After all, shipping fees and costs associated with it are covered. Now we're gonna go down into my garage where I unloaded everything and I'm gonna show you what I got and I'll tell you the prices of everything and show the comps on the screen at that point. All right guys, here we are in the garage again. This is where I drop all of my stuff whenever we are finished sourcing for the day. Here it gets sorted out. The stuff that needs to get cleaned gets set aside into the cleaning piles. And then the stuff that goes upstairs to get photographed and listed right away uh, goes upstairs. These are the things that we got today that have not yet been sorted. I'm gonna show you what we picked up. Also, really quick before we jump into that, I'm gonna show you the shoes that I have laying on the ground, literally that have not even been sorted. I'm buying shoes so much that I, I feel like I don't even have the time to sort them. It's insane. Here we go. So these are all bags of shoes. Uh, you can see shoes under here in that bag. Uh, just a huge pile of shoes that need to get sorted and then cleaned and then photographed and listed. All right, so really quick. This bag here we sourced from our special Goodwill. That is, uh, it's awesome. All the adult shoes, I think I got five or six pairs of adult shoes for $5.50 a piece. And then I got 13 pairs of kids shoes for $3 a piece. These shoes are all individually priced from a local thrift store that uh, it's a local chain. And some of them, they had some shoes there that were $30 for a pair and uh, it was ridiculous. But then they have these totally awesome, I think these are Air Max 90s, I don't know. But they have these Air Maxes right here that they're selling for $5 and I got 25% off of that. Got some great stuff in there too. Let's go over the Goodwill haul first, then we'll do the second thrift store that we hit after that. What I'm gonna do is basically grab a pair of shoes, show the camera, and I don't know what the resale comps on all of these shoes are yet because I've not checked all of them yet. However, a pair of KDs right here, good condition. This pair of Jordans, 
pretty dirty. It's gonna have to get clean, but good condition. This pair, I have no idea what these even are, but uh, good condition. Yeah, pretty cool looking. I would wear them. Because I paid $5.50 for these adult Converse, all I need to get is eight or $9 after all fees and shipping. So I did pick them up. Uh, they're all in good condition. I think I got three pairs of adult Converse, uh, all in good condition. I got this pair of Sperry's. They actually have the tag attached to them, but they've been worn, so I don't know. They have a $35 tag from Marshalls. Uh, they're dirty, gonna clean them up, sell them as used, but uh, not bad for $5.50. Another pair of adult Converse Lowe's. We'll get 10 bucks out of them. Next, we've got a pair of Jordan 11s. These are youth size, paid $3. Got these pink and gray Jordan 12s for $3. I have no idea what these Under Armour might sell for. Uh, they are a size six, so we might list them as a women's size 7.5. Paid three bucks for them. We'll see what we get for them. This pair of Vans. Uh, I don't know what this would be called, except for like a carpet bag. So maybe a Vans carpet bag style uh, skate highs. Really excited about these, paid three bucks. Got this disgusting pair of Air Max, are they 95s? Air Max 95, kind of like a chameleon. Pretty sure it's a 95, I might be wrong. Then I got this pair of Jordans here. The bottoms are just absolutely discolored. You know, that should be like clear or blue and it's gross. I am not going to worry about fixing that because we're trying to get a 1.5 times or slightly more uh, for these shoes. So just gonna flip these. I'm gonna clean them up really good, uh, probably pressure wash the mess out of them and then sell them. We've got this pair of Air Max 95s, I do believe, yeah. And then also this pair. Someone's kid had a ton of Air Maxes and they just donated all of them to Goodwill. Got this pair of Red Harachas Youth, paid three bucks. Got this pair of Jordan 12s. Youth paid three bucks. Got this pair of Vans slip-ons, just basic black slip-ons, paid three dollars. If I can get eight bucks for them uh, after all fees and shipping, that's great. Got this pair of Vans. What are these? Old schools. The Vans old school, uh, Lowe's, paid three bucks. This pair of Jordans, I don't know what these are. I've, I've bought these kind of, this style in the past and they don't do tremendously well, but paying three bucks for them and just trying to get $10 at the end of the day after everything's done, it's not bad. Really quick, uh, the first store that we went to, we spent $80 exactly. The second store we went to, we spent 71, I think. This is the first pair that we got there, 4.98 plus 25% off. Today was Military Monday, so we got 25% off everything at the second store. Got these Adidas Samoas for 3.98 plus 25% off. I was very hesitant and borderline to not even get these Nikes. They're 4.98 plus 25% off, they're pretty dirty and they don't sell for a whole lot, but getting them for 375 or four bucks, I can turn that around and make eight or $9 off of them, I'll do it. Also got these Rikas, I sold a pair like this recently, this colorway, this style. Um, you get like 10 or 12 bucks for them, profit, not bad. Got this very nice pair of all suede Johnston and Murphy Flex System wingtip shoes. They, uh, they're really nice, very, very classy style shoe right there. Got those for $4.98. Next, we've got these Asics Split Second Wrestling Shoes, and I was able to get them for $4.98 plus 25% off. Uh, this one has laces, this one does not. So we're gonna get the laces for them and we're going to sell these. Pretty excited about these. Got these Air Force Ones. They are the baby blue and yellow, and also the very yellowed midsole there. Paid $8.98 plus 25% off, not bad. Paid up a little bit, but we should be able to score 20 bucks profit on those, no problem. Then we got these, these Mizuno Wave Hurricane 3s. I've, I think I've got three or four pairs of these in stock, different sizes. Uh, I've sold a lot of these, paid $6.98 for these Mizuno volleyball shoes. All right, got some Skechers. The only reason I got these is because they're in such great condition and they were $4.98 plus 25% off. So I literally only paid a few bucks. They're Skechers, air-cooled, memory foam, classic fit, I don't know. Nice kind of leather boot style casual shoes. Not bad. We've got these Vans Donkey Kong, pretty awesome. Uh, on the bottom, it says game over and we paid, oh wow, I didn't realize I paid this much. 9.98 plus 25% off. Probably would not have bought these if um, I would have realized that they were $10. Got these New Balance, they feel very new, $6.98 plus 25% off. The inside's 
really clean. Uh, yeah, basic New Balance 472s. And then the winner of the day, what I believe to be the winner of the day, maybe I'm wrong, these Nike Air Force right there, a little bit of a peanut butter jelly look on there, PBNJ. Um, they're the wheat uppers, really nice. We paid, are you ready for it? $8.98 plus 25% off. Really good, super excited about these. Can't wait to get them listed. This is the kind of pair that I will probably go a little bit more than one and a half times what I paid for it simply because there's just some value built into these for what they are. You don't want to tank the overall price on the marketplaces whenever you're selling things like this by severely undercutting everybody. So I'll find out what everyone else has sold theirs for and I'll come in 10 bucks under in order to sell them faster. Super excited about these. All right, guys, that is our haul for today. A lot of really good stuff here. Spent $151 out of our 160. Very excited about this. Looking forward to getting this stuff cleaned and listed over the next two days. Pumped about that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And as always, keep selling, get the bag, and I'll see you on the next video.